What do you do, beautiful people? Your girl, Poet Time, for your Just Curious Report. A lot of news to tell you about. So let's start with the Congressional Black Caucus preparing a Trayvon Martin anti-racial profiling bill. Hope that makes it to the cut, becomes a bill, becomes a law, because Lord knows, if we didn't learn anything this past weekend, it is that the justice system needs a makeover quickly. Let's just put it like that. So, for oh, happy birthday, Nelson Mandela. As I talk about there being justice for Trayvon Martin, finally, may you live long, healthy, and happy. I heard that you're recovering, and from a person that has admired you for years, I pray for your strength. Let God's will be done, but please enjoy your birthday by all means. So, rumor has it, Janet Jackson's husband, yeah, Wasim, you know he's a billionaire, has cut her brothers off. Who knew that every time Jermaine, Tito, and all of them got into a little trouble, that Janet would bail them out? And he's like, nope, now that you attached to my money, ain't gonna happen. Can't give you my name and my money for you to take care of them. They grown men. If they want to make money, they should go get a job at McDonald's. Well, he didn't say that part. I added that part, but you know what I'm saying. And you know how I feel about people not trying to pay their way. So this is what happened to Rihanna while she was performing. Apparently she's been late so many times that fans started throwing food on stage to the point that she like kind of cussed her in her concert. But it's not only that. I'm hearing whispers that they be getting a chant in Beyonce when she's late during like, I guess, changing clothes and coming back on stage. The Rihanna Navy is cut throat don't believe me deshaun jackson's girlfriend somebody jeffries talked about the new gray hair that rihanna's rocking they ate her up seriously and regurgitated her all over the place i like her hair i have a girlfriend who has gray hair that i think is phenomenally sexy shout out to ty alexander gorgeous and great and a blogger at hello beautiful like let rihanna be great and crazy with her hair if that's what she wants to be but you do not attack people because you don't didn't we just learn from that you don't attack somebody because they're different and you don't like necessarily how they live in or what it is or what it ain't. I can't get with people in their double standards. Rush Limbaugh called uh, Rachel Gentile a nigga, and now people are saying that he should be, well, I guess treated like Paula Dean. But nobody's making an uproar about it, probably because the people who should be talking about it, bloggers of the like, aren't. We've gotten used to Rush Limbaugh putting his foot in his mouth and just saying negative things just to get attention. This is a time where I think it's a call to action necessary because you just be wilding out for no reason at all. But if that's what you want to do, then again, you can do it. Who knew that Claudette Ortiz of R&B Divas LA, love the show by the way, shout out to my sis Little Mo, was homeless. And that was one of the reasons behind her taking the show so she could get a steady paycheck to get back on her feet, hopefully back in the spotlight, maybe do a couple duets, do some singing, get a couple checks. You think the people's lives are all hunky-dory and then you find out, damn, you was homeless. And you were one of the, you were part of a big group at one time to share on you dating both the people in your group. But shit happens all the time. What else did I want to tell you about Detroit being bankrupt? Hmm. <sighs> I need to pull my notes up for this one because I want to make sure I read this correctly. <clears throat> and I quote, Detroit filing for Chapter 9 bankruptcy makes Detroit the largest municipality ever to file for bankruptcy in U.S. history. Damn. Chapter 9? A whole city? Like Detroit? What is going on here, people? We need to support our folks because it's not a good look when whole cities are going bankrupt. What city would be next? I don't know, but well, whatever it is. I'm trying to help it not happen. 7-Eleven is the newest international chain to join with the ban of the newest Rolling Stone that has the Boston Bomber on the cover. Rolling Stone is standing behind their magazine cover saying that they are doing nothing but reporting the news. And while the Boston Bomber is not everyone's favorite person, they still have a journalism standard they have to stick to. But really, couldn't you kind of like blacked out his face or used a grainy photo or something? Did we have to put his face on the Rolling Stone magazine for people who are in Boston or related to people who were hurt or killed to have to look at that? I'm just saying, sometimes I know you have a great idea, but you need to rethink it because it comes across as just, just... A little thirsty. Not a lot, just a little. Hey, Bobby Christina, heard that your family wants you to do a prenup so your boo boy Nick Gordon doesn't get his hands on your $20 million inheritance from Whitney Houston. Smart idea. I don't know why you're fighting all your family on it. Get the prenup if he loves you. He'll sign it. He won't care. Now, in the event that he's after your money and he starts pissing a bitch, then you know that he was after your money from the very beginning. It's not hard to tell. So Lamar Odom is still saying that he never cheated on Khloe Kardashian. So his mistress has started posting pictures of her first class flights, all her L.A. Clippers gear. The fact that she had lunch with the owner of Lamar's team at the time, the L.A. Clippers, speaks of volumes. Has she ever had lunch with Khloe Kardashian? I'm just saying. So it'll be interesting to see how he weasels out of that because why else would she have all this stuff? And she's talking about releasing text messages. I swear, forget giving your wife or your husband a prenup. How about getting a prenup for your groupies? 
or your mistresses or the men you're cheating on your husbands with because obviously those are the people blowing up people's spots every day i couldn't make this up but it is what it is and it's gonna be what it's gonna be i just feel really really bad about it i guess anyway let's see last but not least ooh. Well, should I tell you about Kerry Washington and Don Cheadle? Hell yeah, the Emmy noms are out and they scored top billing. Matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, Kerry Washington was nominated for leading actress in a drama. And it is the first time in 18 years that an African-American woman has been nominated for that. Ow, scandal, get him. <laughs> I'm your girl, Poe, and that's your Just Curious Report. I can tell you about Chief Keith being arrested with $8,000 in his pocket, but his baby mama claiming he's already, like, on he's behind in his child support that's another story for another day find me on twitter <laughs> at o'reilly poet po chains on instagram poetaylor.com for all your entertainment news needs and of course catch the recap of me and the just curious report hip-hop matrix show.com every day 10 a.m i'm out